Hello everyone, welcome to The Common Hangout with yours truly, The Common Man. Now I've been out and about from the world from time to time, collected so many memories and thoughts, seen so many things and experienced new experiences. But before I get ahead of myself, I would like to thank you, each and every one of you who happens to stumble upon this. Welcome to the Common Hangout. Now the name may change, or it may stay the same, who knows. Perhaps I may think of a clever name in the future, but for now, welcome to the Common Hangout. A disclaimer though, I am using some very soft, lo-fi Thursday vibes. If you happen to like any things that you hear, please feel free to stop on by and give this person here my con- congratulations, condolences, regards to stumbling upon this very soft, soothing, ambient sounds. Now, for this little spot, this is a common hangout for everyone and anyone. But mostly it was started because, well, like some of you else out there, I too am, I would say, would be a background character. I am someone who is a passerby that people pass on by. I was someone who was talked over during dinner tables and family interactions. The friend who would always be lagged behind. While the main friend group was ahead of me, I was designated in the back. But through it all, I've managed to find inner peace, managed to grow from those experiences. And I've been told that I have a very soothing voice to listen to, a voice that should be for voiceovers. And today will be the very first day, on August 10th, 2023. The common hangout is formed. This is a play on words though from the Square Enix mainline series Kingdom Hearts 2. A play for the usual spot. It's only fitting that I have my very own usual spot known as the common hangout. So without any more introductions, let us begin this little narration. Being a common man is quite endearing, I must say. After my little adventures before the day of graduation, I did not have any guidance as to what I want to do with my life. Graduation wasn't really something that I was prepared for. I just knew what was coming. And what was coming was saying goodbye to everyone I've ever had the chance and pleasure to speak to. Because I will never see them again. And years later, it is still just that. There have been very, very few people I have talked to from way back when. But only for brief moments. Although... I don't fault them for only speaking to me for so little for so often. We all have our very own lives to live. So, it's always nice to see someone you once knew reappear for good intentions and purposes. But after high school, I spent a great deal of time not thinking of what to do next. For a while, my life was somewhat dictated, guided in a sense, not by my parents, but by standards of what was supposed to be next. You pass kindergarten, you go to first grade, you pass first, go to second, and so on. And by the time high school came, we all were expected to know what we wanted to do. And all I wanted to do was just 
let time pass by as I hang out with the friends I would consider were my friends. And are. But life would continue on. And after three months time, I landed my first job. It wasn't a very fun particular place to be in. It was a place of misery and depression. Depression I never knew I had within me until that place. Going from a high school mentality into a professional working field, there is no easy transition. And that's what I learned at a frighteningly young age. It was a very professional job. I, my first job was uh, as a dental technician. I'll get more into details about that on a, another video. But it wasn't a place that was fit for someone who never knew he had, in a sense, depression. Everyone was to themselves. Everybody was there for the job itself. Of course, you had little cliques here and there, those who got along with each other. But for someone like me, it was strange. I had wonderful people that I would talk to, but when they were gone, I realized I had nothing around me anymore. And that depression went into overdrive. <laughs> and it wasn't easy. What I've learned and what was slowly building up in my time during high school was the mentality of nobody cares in a sense. Nobody cares of the things you do now. All that high school once was, how popular you were, how funny you are, all that, all that doesn't matter anymore. What matters is now how much money you make. You compete with one another. You go about your business and trying to, in a sense, be better than those around you to keep what you have and it's horrible it's a very f a hateful horrible mentality to have in this world little did I realize was I was competing with my fellow classmates with my fellow friends in jobs in houses in, in cars and everything we were all, in a sense, trying to be better than each other. At least not be homeless or a bum, you might say. At least that's how I view it now. Perhaps I'm wrong, but to me, competition was already there, and I just failed to realize it until I had graduated. And now, now everything is over. And it's funny too because within a few more years, the first 10 year reunion will take place. Now I don't say I wanna go and attend because all it really is to me is just a place to go back, maybe to catch up with some old friends that you once knew, to see how things are, but it's also to show off all the things you've done, the places you've been, the money you have. I have not spoken to many of these people for since graduation, nor do I even really have any intention to, and vice versa. But pardon me, my egotistical kind of side wants to go wants to hope that I can achieve something great to go there and rub it in <laughs> but what good will that do no I have places like this where I can come and relax to be able to just enjoy the days enjoy the little things that's something that we all tend to forget at times too. And one thing I learned at a few jobs I worked at 
when you take a step back and you look at all the chaos around you you see everyone running around hustling and bustling you see so much chaos and you just have to look around and say wow this is life this is what I've agreed to sign up to nothing wrong with working but working to the brink of death is a horrible way to live some do not mind but work is funny and a very touchy subject but I would say if one thing don't ever forget about your own mental, physical, emotional health if you need a break take one the work will still be there to get done but sometimes you have to just step away from it breathe and come back to it and so I would say this is a very small short video this is just a simple small little project I might be consider doing if you are interested in it at all I thank you once again for stopping by on this afternoon well noon I should say and I must say it is very welcoming to have you stop on by and listening for all this time and please if you have a story to share by all means leave it within the comments and if not I but maybe someone else will read it and reply to it this is a very welcoming wholesome spot a relaxation spot a usual common hangout to come on by and let all your worries and doubts flow freely away from you thank you all for tuning in this is your host the common man wishing you all a wonderful rest of your day